If you haven't noticed yet, we're on YouTube, so what you want to do is you want to find the little subscribe button, you want to hit that, you want to turn the notifications hey. on, and you want to like the fucking video. And turn us the fuck up. And share that shit. <laughs> or else, I'll send Christian and maybe Zane. With yeah, a weird they're, they're, look. They're the a thugs. Google look. We're cool, bro. <laughs> we're the top dogs. Mafia style. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Afternoon or night, whatever time you're watching this video. Or in my case, mid fucking morning. With fucking shaggy tattoos, you know what I mean? Grey scope, repping the brand. Hit me up, Marcus Rose Seven Instagram. And today we're gonna be reviewing some tattoos. I think on athletes, right, Bridger? Bet. Because athletes make gangs of money, and so they get Dang gangster it. ass tattoos, right? Yeah. But I do know, like, shout out to uh, Nico, you know, Nico Hurtado, he, he definitely, he's, he, you know, he was friends with Kobe, RRP. But I remember uh, some of that, some of that tattoo work, it was amazing. So I can't wait to see what we got uh, yeah. going on today. Uh, oh, shit. The Diesel. <laughs> okay, then. Fuck yeah, Shaq. I know he's got some fish tanks by Tanks, and they're literally the same thing. Superman and the Diesel. I'm, I'm just wondering, is this, I mean, like, I'm not a very tall tattooer, so I'm just, like, wondering, is is it just because the motherfucker couldn't reach him? <laughs> because, sure, what the fuck, dude? This is, I know uh, Shaq has never been to prison. I don't you know understand what that is above the Diesel. What even is that? That looks like a tree of life fish. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a mushroom. Maybe he had some trippy fucking times before he was fucking basketball uh, player. Fuck, uh, I, th I think I, I feel like I fit. have access to like the top, you know, giant fucking canvas in the world. All right, so let's go with this giant canvas. What the fuck, though? Hit Decent. us up, Shaq. Hit us up. We'll fucking we can cover that. Yeah, you ever need any help with that, Shaq? You just let me know. All right, dog. <laughs> Nate Robinson. Not only did you get beat the fuck up, but oh, look at this. <laughs> Tattoo on your neck. Beat the fuck up, dude. That's a, that's the type of shit that makes you want to grow your hair out. <laughs> uh, Here's the thing: is that now I totally understand how this motherfucker can dunk, and he's like five one. If I had that tattooed on my neck, I would definitely learn how to do some extra special shit too. Is that supposed to be like the space needle? Or is I think, that like an alien ship, like I think abducting it's like a, a town? I think it's like a cross between Seattle and Houston. And what the fuck's at the bottom too with those three little like circle things? That's like his necklace. He's got the necklace, bro. Oh, it's a rosary, bro. <laughs> Dude, that looks like it was like a like a tabori, like a ghetto tabori. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, he's state, like, oh, bro, I hand poke. I hand poke. So technically, this is fucked up. You know, I mean, it's there's not a whole lot that you could do with that other than try to you know cover it up. And you know, the general rule of thumb on cover up is about three times the size of the widest portion. So we're gonna be doing some head tattoo work here. Yeah. All in the hairline. Trust me, dog. I understand. Eight ball and a top hat. <laughs> what did you cover that with? Eight ball and a top hat. Eight ball and a top hat. That's the go-to, <laughs> dog. You know, you have to make soot, right? So you burn the burn. Things. Yeah. He Catch probably him, right? burned all his competitors like participation <laughs> awards. <laughs> Make it so. uh, <laughs> Alright, next, next, next. Okay, to the left. Oh. Okay, D. Oh, man. That's I, not too bad. We could fix that. That's another example Wait, is that of, a Walgreens of tattoo? the tattoo artist probably not being tall enough. Is that a Walgreens tattoo? I think it's a Washington Walgreens tattoo. It looks fresh. The, yeah, that's a Walgreens. It looks fresh, dude. Can you zoom in on that? That's a Walgreens yeah, tattoo. No, Maybe it's just because we're next door, bro. I just see the, the fucking yeah, logo, Walgreens right? logo. All yeah, the time. we're literally next to Walgreens, so it's like imprinted in my fucking brain. How tall? How tall is Katie? So yeah, he's got about a foot missing on the top. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, I totally understand that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. maybe this tattoo artist just has like a bum shoulder or something. Does he really not have tat like sleeves though? No, he's got a bra. He's like one uh, tall tattoo artist yeah, away from a yeah. wife beater. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I like the background. I like how it's all the same color as the foreground. I think it leaves yeah. a nice yeah. dynamic look. If KD were to walk into the shop today and be like, yo, Marcus, what uh, would you do to help this motherfucker? Well, I hit up Abusive Tattoo, get that 112 pin mag, and we'd probably black his shit out. Yeah! Fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. Shout out. Yes. All right, next. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> Uh, that's uh, KD as well. That's oh KD as well. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. KD, listen, man. We have some of your shoes in the shop and they're fresh and you're a gangster ass basketball player, but dude, you you hit us up, bro. Enough. Hit us up. We will help you. Yeah, Stop doing this real, to yourself. Bro. Stop. What's up with the eyeballs? Like, one's like this and one's like this. <laughs> like, 
It must be a statue or something. This is after Michelangelo. Uh, and what, what's, on, yeah. what's, on, what's on his head, bro? Is it like a jock strap or something? <clears throat> I don't know if this is supposed to be Jesus. This might be like Mohammed or something. <laughs> the lettering's got, not too bad. It's not going to last he's much got a longer. Poem on his side. It looks fresh, too. You it's can tell like, it's raised. So yeah, it looks it's like definitely done 500 that letter. I, I, so, okay, so technically, I mean, where do I start? Uh, the lines are pretty clean on the lettering. It's not it's, too bad. It's, it's not bad, but it looks like it was done in gray wash, first of all. Yeah, exactly. And not black. So, and secondly, the amount of lettering per square inch is going to turn into a nice a square. square of Braille. Some. This is not the level of tattoo that I was really expecting with professional athletes, but I guess actually I, I must be misguided. Yeah. It. Oh, Dennis fucking Rodman. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Kim Jong Un took this picture. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> He's yeah. like, what's up, Howie? Yeah, yeah. He got the tribal unfinished there. <laughs> yeah. His artist was like, bro, you are too fucking crazy. We're doing the line work and I'm calling it, bro. They did the top part during Blade 1, and they did the <laughs> bottom part during like Blade 3. They're like, listen, you're Dennis Rodman, dog. That's Wesley Snipes, okay? You can't, like, you, can't, you guys you, are too guys close. Are not, yeah. You guys are too close. You still have the white hair, but he's got a movie with it, you know? So, like, <laughs> you know oh, what I mean? Shit. That. Dude, Dennis Rodman was wild. You had you had Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen. Yeah, see, I wasn't even around. Fucking, I remember and, Michael uh, Jordan, the greatest. Uh, that's it. Stockton, the highlights. And then you had fucking Dennis Rodman, dude. <laughs> this uh, motherfucker is in a wedding dress up fucking going to the club. And oh, it says yeah. DM. I think that means direct message. Yep. Direct yeah, message. Yeah, it's a, it is DM. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> what oh. the fuck? This fool's got DM on his stomach, which is like right here on me. Well, if you don't know, <laughs> now you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rodman. Um, all in all, though, tattoo work skill level, I'd pretty, say I'd say this is probably pretty clean for the era. That's some good gray wash, some okay. smooth shading. Okay, I mean, it looks like they followed the stencil well. Oh. And it does look like it's a mirror of the same design, possibly mm. one pre tequila and one after tequila. Yeah. Um. So artistically. Technically, Execution, yes, yeah, some smooth not shading bad, there. Not, yeah, you know, especially not time, bad. And the like black what, like is the black. For sure. Yeah, and the black is black. <laughs> Bro. To be honest with you, this is the first time that I've really ever looked at Dennis Robbins' naked body before his tattoos. <laughs> yeah, I don't think most of the time I'm totally distracted. Most of the time I'm totally distracted by the nipple ring like extravagance that he seems to have. He's got more. He's the only dude with a belly button piercing that you know that you're not going to talk shit about. I mean, I've, I've had my belly button pierced. What I, are you well, to say, dog? What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh I was off a dare, dude. It was bad or some shit. I was like fucking in sixth grade with two chicks. Here's what bro. I have to like, say, bro. When Here's they're trying to get it like this close to your nether regions, bro, like, yeah, of course I'm gonna be like, yes, bro. Like, I was in sixth grade, dog. Listen, any chick who's trying to get close to you by piercing your belly button is not trying to get that close. <laughs> She's trying to clown on you. As I found out. As I found it's really simple. Belly button piercings are not cool. <laughs> yeah, Let's... we spent a minute on that one. Oh! Oh! Who is that? Is that Lance Armstrong? Uh, so first of all, th this looks like some Maori tattoo tribe uh, face tattoo. I'm saying I wouldn't fuck with this guy, bro. Like, no, uh, I mean honestly, like it kind of depends. I mean, I, I I don't know enough about this guy, but tattoo wise, like it's clean. I see a dude with a fucking full beard tattoo. I don't think they had numbing spray for that either, bro. So no, you know I mean he's that's a like G, a that's a G, champ, and it's on his head and forehead and shit. I got shit. nothing bad to say about this guy, bro. Don't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're over here talking shit about Rodman and fucking KD and everybody else. <laughs> this, this, like, guy. This, this fucking little skinny white dude with a face tattoo. We're like, yo, fucking this dude's killer. <laughs> right? Uh, uh, I guess to fix it, maybe this is a fix. This could be yeah. a fix. Maybe he got like his ex-girlfriend's name on his jaw or something. Oh, I can I see it. I don't know, or forehead. I, <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. Yeah. I he looks like fucking uh, Jeepers Creepers, dog. You seen that fucking movie? Yeah. Literally, yes, have. Yeah, that's what that he does, fucking reminds does. me of. It, yeah. I swear, bro, it just hit that me. It does. Let's talk tattoo technical aspect, though. So, on, on a scale of 1 to 10, technically, I think I'd give this like a 7. Yeah, I'd say about seven, um, eight. And that's only because of the negative spacing uh, inconsistencies. But like the points are point. The, point the circle is pretty like circle -ish. The curves it's are curves. Old, it's not a straight on shot, so you can't see the symmetry. Yeah. But I mean, I look at the saturation on the jawline and like, I don't it's know if you've ever tried too. to it's not like, too tattoo over hair follicles. 
Yeah, well, and and it's just it's a little bit different. So so getting it to saturate and stick in a in a, in a over a hair follicle that's pretty yeah. difficult. And that looks pretty consistent. Yeah, hundred percent. On his forehead, definitely. I mean, that dude's probably got like some emotional shit going on when he's talking to you. He's just fucking. <laughs> Can you imagine his scalp? Yeah, it just fucking looks like this. Jeepers this creepers, dude. dog. <laughs> uh, All right, up next. Brock Lesnar. This will beat the fucking brakes off Kimbo Slice, bro. Listen, bro, that's the best tattoo I've ever seen in my life on the best motherfucker in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is anybody I'm not gonna talk shit? <laughs> guy. Uh, Bottom line though is that uh, that looks like that looks like it was done in the back of a of a gym locker room at WWE. I you mean, can attest to that, bro. He literally tattooed out of a gym. Yeah. And How it, long was that, bro? That was like five years. <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> my first shop. My first shop Straight was in, was in Z's training gym. Shout out Z. Shout out. And the whole crew up there. It's uh, up there in Fort Collins, if you uh, don't know, now you know, they do jujitsu, MMA, all that. Fuck yeah. Bunch of sweaty ass, fucking dirty motherfuckers coming in and out all day long. I learned how to sanitize and Keep separate. Really and fucking really. my, my, level of, uh, yeah. my level of cross contamination was on like fucking steroids. Like this Fuck dude. Yeah. This dude probably got a tattoo in a very similar location. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? They probably went in. Worked out. All roided out. Did some fucking roids. I want a fucking beat knife the shit out of with brass knuckles and, and maybe like a Batman symbol for the handle. <laughs> yes, dude. He's like, he's like, I want Excalibur, but all tribal with brass knuckles. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Right here, motherfucker, do it. <laughs> That's just the mentality I have to just think all these big guys have. In your bro. mind, in your like mind, gentle giants. Yeah, in often. your mind, he's like laying back and he like gets up and he's all, Aah! you know. And, uh, and in reality, he was probably like, oh god. Oh God! <laughs> so this tattoo right here, bro. Technically, I'd say it's. Mm, it's alright. Okay. It needs, it needs darker black lines because this dude's white as fuck, bro. Yeah. So you can punch the black in there, bro. That like, should have that should have looked like the sword was piercing the top of his fucking head, coming out with blood spurting. You know what I'm saying? He has that much uh, availability yeah. of room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nigger oh, boobs. I've got a theory. <laughs> this could have been a failed ab tattoo, tribal, at the beginning. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. And then they added the knuckle and the blade. Do you see what I'm saying, yeah, bro? I feel you. Oh man. He's like, I want a Batman symbol, and he was like 14. Yeah, this dude. But 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 dude, listen. He's white as can be. He has the fucking. He has perfect skin. He's a giant. This should be yeah. an amazing Easy. fucking tattoo. Simple, and it's, right, and it's really not. Yeah. Um. I just want to say thanks, and I hope um, yeah. I hope everybody laughs a little bit about what the what we've got going on here as far as our take on some of these tattoos. Because yeah. by no means are we the greatest thing since sliced bread, but we're definitely yeah. not the worst thing since sliced bread. So having a little bit of opinion on some of this is uh, definitely that. It's definitely an opinion. Um, and uh, But ultimately, we want to see everybody have nice, good, solid, clean, 100%. artistic work. It's all about the and, art. Uh, yeah, uh, much respect to all these guys, for sure. No hate at all. Yeah. It's all love. Bottom line is that we're, we're, we're here to do a job, and we, we love doing that job. And so yeah. uh, if you guys... Haven't known yet? Come see us, Sharky's Paradise. This is Marcus, young upcoming uh, fucking yeah. artist Mark right here. Seven. Hit me up on Come the IG. Ready to find a little thing up here or something. And you can find me right here on Google. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Much it. love, later, guys.